Hi everybody, um, got a couple of finished items to show you and a couple of things I'm working on. Um, first things first, let's do ooh, the peppermint throw is done. Not particularly throw size, um, I think it's about 40, I can't remember, 40 something inches wide and about 37 inches long, deep, wide. Yeah, it's pretty. I like how it, it's turned out. It's heavy because um, each motif's really double. Um, I'll show you the back of it. I see all the spirals in it. Interesting. Um, Jack likes to wear it the wrong way around. So there's the front. That is done. I still have plenty of um, white and it's called Dark Country Blue or something, Karen Simply Softer Ball. So I could have added more motifs into it. But I sat down, I finished that before Christmas. I sat down and looked at it and thought, not everything has to be bed size, does it? Um, apologies if the lighting's a bit bad. I tried to film this morning and it was, well, I did film, um, about 8 o'clock this morning. It was really dingy, I had to have the light on. So I thought, well, I'll try filming now, it's 20 past 1. The sun is out, but it's at the front of the house. Um, so it's a bit dingy here, so I've got the light on, so apologies if it's a bit not the best. Um, but I want to sit in here because I want to show you, look! <gasps> oh, come in here! Um, I've been looking for something to go in the alcove for a while. And um, I couldn't find... I was looking for like a cabinet with sliding doors, where they look solid you know wood or uh, glass doors Paul would prefer wood so rogue hair so I've just had a shower just done my exercising um yeah looking for something with sliding doors because the desk covers sort of half of the cabinet couldn't find anything Ikea had some but they were shorter and wider more like office equipment but it's 350 quid so you know, that wasn't happening, and it didn't fit anyway. Um, so then I was thinking about bookcases with like the fabric cubes that you slide in. Um, and we went to Ikea and bought a mattress at the weekend, and Paul forgot to take the measurements with him, so we couldn't buy anything. And then a lady on the Craftinunas group on Facebook put a picture of she'd organised her stash, and I was like, can I ask you where you got your cabinet from? And she says it was a... DVD cabinet that she got from like Little Woods or something years ago. I was like, oh, I've not thought of DVD cabinets. So like five minutes later, I found that on uh, Argos. So it's not the best quality, to be perfectly honest. It's Argos, you know. I think it should have been eighty pounds, and it was forty-five. Oh, what comes it? Paul's not particularly pleased. It's got glass doors, so he, in his words, has to see it. Shh, I've cleared two cupboards in the garage for him. There's still some in the garage. I was like, yeah, it'll go in. And then I got everything out. I'm like, <laughs> oops, it won't go in. Because I've kind of got um, two on top of each other on most shelves. My my tiny like second shelf down, everything's been pushed up by the shelf below being slightly too full. So it's lifted the shelves up so that... That one got squidged a bit too much. Um, but yeah, I've got um, on the bottom uh, some baby yarn, sock yarn, and some cotton and stuff that have been sent. And then the row above is uh, Karen Simply Soft. And the majority of that is new fashion DK and um, ice. So all my red heart is still in the garage and the airing cupboard. There's only a tub of each, yeah, a tub in, yeah, one of each. And then there's a tub of um, just odd cakes and because uh, the top row's got mainly cakes and stuff on it um, but yeah there's a few more in the garage still and some of the big like uh, 400 gram balls um, I like it it's pretty makes me happy I've taken a ball out already because I'm working on something so you know progress <laughs> and I'll be weighing stuff this year and I've um Sent some more to Karen, uh, Karen, what's your channel? Casalistics. Uh, I'll put a link in below. 
If I haven't done it, I'll get to it. Um, don't tell me if I forget. Um, yeah, Karen does stuff for woolly hugs and things like that. If you just want to use it for yourself. Uh, so some baby yarn and some cotton. And some of the eBay like bamboo cashmere cotton that I bought. And it's beautiful. I think I've tried to use it like three times. And I just never know what to do with it. So Karen can make use of it for me. That's wonderful. So thank you, Karen. Um, did I say hello? No. Um, that's going in the post today. Uh, second class. So hopefully it'll be with you Saturday, Monday. Something like that. Thursday. Um, and then I dotted around a few charity shops in town this morning and dropped two bags off in one shop. What did I do? Mind. Uh, so Alzheimer's, I think. And PDSA shop. So I quite like those shops. So I popped some stuff in there. Uh, I've got a bag left to give to a friend of mine who's asking a friend of hers who makes for charity if she wants some stuff. Um, it'll probably take her six months to ask. <laughs> She's just so busy all the time. I don't know how she knows where she is. So um, I've kept a small bag back of a couple of like ice cakes and stuff that I haven't got any more of. No, any more of. Um, so yeah, I have weighed everything and kept my totals. I think I've got rid of 3.62 kilos or something. That's a lot of wool. So yeah, Anyway, on to my next finished item. Um, this is, well, it's way bigger than my wings, but it's taller than me. Uh, a scarf for my sister's partner. He turns 30 next week, 15th, I think. So I've made this for him. Well, the light's a bit better than it was earlier. Um, this is called Gentleman's Scarf. There's a, it's free pattern, and there's a video tutorial on it. Um, I will link. I like it. I really like it. Um, in fact, I'm quite tempted to make it myself one. <laughs> um, it needs washing so I can get makeup on it if I need to. Um, yeah, I thought it, you know, making my hat, uh, scarf, a hat, scarf rather than a cowl. Um, but yeah, I like it. This is just some 400 gram ball I had. I've had for years. I was making a granny. Uh, granny stitch scarf in it and it just sat in a bag for you know oh I don't know it's three or four years but I now took it to Manchester market on a train with me the first year I went and that's that's three years ago because I went to two markets then I missed did I miss one or two anyway a long time so I pulled that out I crocheted this up instead um I weigh it it's, it's probably only about 150 200 no it's not 200 pounds Probably about 150 grams there. Uh, and that was 270 foundation single crochets to start. Uh, and it's really simple. And I think it look, comes out quite nice. Uh, yeah. It's good. So that's present done. Um, I'm going to uh, start, well, keep blogging. Because I blog about mainly just about finished items. And... I can't remember my total, I got to last year, I think it was about 192 things I made because obviously I made like 100, I have made 100 and something by middle of the year because I did that craft fair, so every year I'm like, I won't make that many again. Okay, so I'm working on another unicorn because Jack's got another party and I said no to a second party on Saturday because I don't two day, two parties in it, one day. I've done it once before, never again. It's at the same place though, and it's the cousin of someone who's going to the first party. And they're like, if he wants to come in, uh, uh, you know, late and just play, he can. And I was like, we'll see how we go. Because that means that we're going for food again, you know. Because they play for an hour, then they go for food for an hour. So I'll have just come out of having food for an hour and go and play for half an hour and then go back and have food for an hour. We'll see. She said I can leave him there if she wants because he knows uh, her kid's mum and, you know, everyone, so. Well, her grandkid's mum. Anyway, her dog. Dear me. So, I've done some slightly different colours on the mane. Cause this green is uh, Starcraft DK that I used in my friend's blanket and so is the blue. 
Uh, and I've gone for a brighter orange and a different purple because I couldn't find the other one. I may have got rid of it. Um, so yeah, it just needs tail and uh, felt on the nose and its horn and it's done. So I'll get that done later. And then I was asked to make, can you whip up a quick baby blanket? Of course I can. Um, so I'm just doing Granny Square until I run out of, yeah, just doing one ball. Uh, gender unknown baby. And I was like, well, the only other one I've got in there really that's gender neutral is grey. The, the grey eyes. I'm pointing, I don't know, there. Uh, there, yeah. Um, but I thought this would be okay because this blue and green boy and uh, pinky purple if it's a girl. And I think it's just nice, fresh colours. So that's that. Uh, I started that Tuesday, took it to my sister's this morning. Ball fell apart. It's like gabbing away, crocheting. Um, oh yeah, Unicorn is out of Amigurumi Toy Box by Anna Paula Ramoli. Ah, oh, made loads of those. Um, what else? Oh, I made I've, I made, I got a couple of books from the library, uh, I think Juliet, uh, Pink Butterfly, has had at least this one, possibly the other one too, because um, she made the coat and blue trousers, I think, who was that for, who wears the coat and blue trousers? Uh, why can't I think of the animal that wears them? Sorry, this is interesting for you, isn't it? Oh, it's Heidi. It's very cute. Let's have a look. Oh, there's the bunny. Super cute. I like his little bubble hat. But I quite like the look of... Where is she? Oh, I like the bears with the poncho. Is... That's the Z bear. Hey, Z. <laughs> Where is she? Oh dear. There's a mouse in a tutu. There she is. I kind of want to make it for uh, my niece, Felicity. I hadn't seen her had her last time of it in my video. Oh my god, she's adorable. Adorable. She just likes to go to sleep on you. And um, my sister in law sort of going, Please don't let her sleep. <laughs> Keep her awake in the day. So she sleeps at night. Um, I think she's struggling a bit. Um, I think she's got some sort of intolerance to the milk. So they're trying her with some different milk at the minute. Because she, she's suffering, she's having like discomfort after she feeds. So uh, hopefully they'll get her sorted and she can settle a bit more. But definitely need more squidges. More squidges. Uh, and then the second book. Did I say who this was by? Babies. I'm being rubbish. Cute Crochet Animals, I can't see, by Emma Varnum. She's from the library, so I'm going to have a look when I've done the blanket and the unicorn. So sort of have a go at it, and then if I like it, I'll perhaps get the book from Amazon or somewhere. Who is this by? Why am I zooming in that bit? Oh, oh. Isabel Zizidia. She's the lady who did the doll that I don't like. <laughs> so... That could be a bit of a no-no straight away, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'll give it a go, or give something a go, but I'm sure that's the same woman who did the crochet doll, the apple picker thing I did for Amy. Hi Amy, hi Barry. Um, I didn't realise that. That could be a no-go then. Um, yeah, because I didn't enjoy it. Um, let me show you what my sister got me for my birthday. She got me a riffraff from Rocky Horror. <laughs> How I got that? I had a proper geeky Christmas. It was really good. I got um, a labyrinth, like behind the scenes book from uh, Paul with loads of pictures and stuff. Um, sort of little bits of information about the filming and things like that. And then he bought me the um, Tobin's Spirit Guide from Ghostbusters. Um, we didn't call Tobin after that. I could pretend that I'm like dead hip and that we named her child after something like a ghost buster. Oh no, cool. But no, we didn't. Um, 
we had, you know, we didn't know. And then we like realised and it was like, oh, that's so cool. So yeah, she bought me the, the Tobin Spirit Guide. Um, where is it? It's out there. Um, and it details all the different kinds of uh, ghosts and spirits and things like that. It's really cool. Tobin was very jealous that I got that, but Paul said he nearly bought it for Tobin, but thought it would be better for me to keep, you know, safer with me, and then Tobin can read it when he's older. So, and I got um, a Rick and Morty T-shirt of Paul and some uh, perfume and what else? Ah, the entire Columbo collection on DVD. I love Columbo. He's amazing. Yeah, I've got like 35 DVDs for every single episode. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, I was fully, like, geeked out by the time I, we left for Christmas dinner at Paul's mum's. Um, and then I've got a needle felting kit on the way. Because I want to give that a go. I wanted to try for a while and just thought, oh, well, too busy, you know, doing everything else. So, I'll try that. I've got some smaller circular needles coming. I have been doing a bit of practice, did a bit of moss stitch. Um, yeah, I'm struggling increasing. Finding left-handed knitted knitting videos, I think, is harder than finding left-handed crochet videos. Because a couple of left-handed, titled left-handed knitting videos have been continental. And the, the move, that I can't do it moving the like picking the stitches with the right hand I can't I just can't it needle won't go in I'm like surely I must be able to yeah left hand fine so it's kind of learning everything backwards and make one left as the right handed person would do make one left I'm actually making one right I'll get there I'm sure it will just click and it will like eh. but yeah so I do keep trying uh, and yeah, so I look forward to trying needle felting and I've still got money to spend and I don't really know what to get, so. But yarn apparently is not allowed. He says. <laughs> no more. But I've got rid of three kilos, so. And then I'm using some up and I'll wear my scarf because I can go into my totals. Um, I'm getting there. I've not got loads in there or anything. I stopped counting at 100 balls. Whoops. Anyway. It's not that bad. I've seen Carol's stash. Hi, <laughs> Carol. Uh, apparently referring to, to just saying other people's stashes is worse than mine isn't... Paul's not having that. It's not good enough. Right. So I'm going to start waffling, get this on the computer and upload it. I'm going to have some dinner and a cup of tea. Cause I've just been drinking water because I did 38 minutes of aerobics. Bought a step this morning. I like step aerobics. Less jumping. Don't like jumpy jumpy. Hurts my knees. So anyway, I hope you've been okay. I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year and everything. Ouch, sat on my leg. Um, yeah, oh, I'm gonna go and watch Amy Ming Mao's video. Hi, Amy. Uh, I saw that was up this morning, so I might go and get my dinner and a cup of tea and sit and watch Amy and crochet some more in this blanket and then try and find a home for my step. Right, I will speak to you later guys. Bye!